Mr. Obed, we heard a brief clip there from your appearance before the Senate committee. What would you say the main point uh, was you were trying to get across to them? Well, my testimony lasted around two hours, and so there are many major points. The, the, the concern that Inuit have in this era of reconciliation is that we get it right, and that we get it right in a distinctions-based way, which means that there is no one indigenous reality in this country. There are very specific realities for First Nations, Inuit, and Métis, and that also uh, the we have done a lot in the last 40 and 50 years to create the environment for the success that we wa all want today. And for Inuit, it's in relation to land claim agreements and the implementation of land claim agreements, in addition to a new way of thinking about policy development and legislative development in an Inuit Nunangat sense that focuses on our homeland rather than splits it up into different jurisdictional regions within this country. So. What indications do you have as to how well that message was received? The Senate Standing Committee uh, asked a number of very thoughtful, um, informed questions, and I felt like we had a very good dialogue this morning. I've been impressed with the recent work of the Senate, especially in relation to the Inuit Nunangat housing uh, report that was released in March of this year and the rigor that went into the creation of, of that report and also into the witnesses that uh, they've heard from this far in relation to the relationship um, uh, work that they're doing. So I'm encouraged by the work that the senators are doing to understand this place and time and also to hear from Inuit leadership about uh, the steps necessary to improve the relationship further between Indigenous peoples and the Canadian government. Well, possibly to that effect, the, the Senate uh, apparently is going to start a committee related to uh, Arctic issues. What would ITK hope to see come out of that? It's excellent that uh, Senator Charlie Watt has uh, done the lobbying necessary to ensure that there is an Arctic uh, subcommittee or committee of the Senate, in addition to other senators such as Senator Dennis Patterson from Nunavut. We would hope as Inuit that it would focus on the very real challenges that we have uh, in relation to our socioeconomic status, on our political relationship with the Government of Canada, and also the very helpful way uh, uh, this committee could focus on Arctic issues that then lead into legislative and policy reform. There are very specific realities in relation to our infrastructure, uh, in relation to our governance, that need to be considered when taking any national steps. And I hope that this new Arctic committee will play a leading role in informing the work that happens in all things that affect the Canadian Arctic. Now, I understand uh, a senator asked you last week uh, about the emergency meeting, as it was called, about child welfare. How important is that for, for, from the Inuit perspective in terms of getting this new relationship with Canada off to a better, uh, off, off to, uh, a better place? Children in care and the treatment of children in general in our society is a huge priority for Inuit. We think that the federal government has a significant role to play in ensuring the socioeconomic conditions in our communities are such that parents can provide for children and ensure that they have the tools necessary so that children don't end up in care. But once children are in care, then we need to do more to ensure that uh, they get the proper care they deserve and they don't have to sacrifice their language, their culture, their connection with their family, uh, or their human rights uh, to provide essential services for them. We had constructive conversations last week, and Minister Philpott and Minister Bennett led those conversations from the federal level. I was very happy that uh, uh, public government jurisdictions like the Northwest Territories, Nunavut, Quebec, and Newfoundland and Labrador all were very uh, constructive and proactive in their remarks alongside Inuit leadership. Thank you very much. You're welcome.